and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, I'm going to be going over what you should be expecting from the Team of the Year promo. Now, you might be wondering, right? Playoff promo just dropped yesterday. Why are we going over the Team of the Year promo? That's because last year, the Team of the Year promo did drop on January 14th, which is nine days from today. So I'd imagine you guys probably want to even, if you guys haven't played Madden before, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about, so that's great for you guys. If you guys have played Madden before, you know what I'm talking about, but you probably didn't know it was so soon. For me personally, coming into this as a content creator, I was like, what? Well, uh, when was team of the year? I was thinking like end of January, right? No, no, it was, it's literally next week. That like a week and a few days from today, last year was when it initially dropped. Now playoff promo did drop on same schedules last year, which makes me believe that so will team of the year. Playoff promo, you guys have to understand, isn't really some expanded program. It's a month long, but not in the way you think. Other promos that are month long is content all month. It's more like playoff promo drops their initial like 12 guys and their masters. That's it. And then occasionally throughout the month, you might get you're gonna get like a uh, divisional round LTD, a conference championship LTD. You're gonna get LTDs from from past uh, playoff performance. That's about it. Other than that, the promo for the most part, you've gotten like the max of it. Now team of the year does start pretty soon, so I do want to get through all that. Now guys, before we get into this video. Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, boys, come join the family. We're at like 16,700 subs. You guys have been going crazy. Get into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Let's see if we can get to 17k within the next three days. That'd be greatly appreciated. As well as, can you guys smash the like button? You guys have been going crazy with the like button, which is why, like I said, I've had my best week on YouTube in my entire YouTube career so far. If you guys keep smashing that like button, let's keep it going. It helps, it helps out tremendously. Can we get 250 likes on this video? Smash the like button. That's about it. Noti Gang, you gotta go strong. Noti Gang has been crazy lately. Comment down below, Noti Gang, if you're here right away, and like the video. All right, guys, let's get into this vid. So, Team of the Year. When Team of the Year drops, what are the first things you're gonna be doing as a typical player? First off, you're gonna go over to sets. So, when you go over to sets, Team of the Year, it should be right here. There's gonna be about three things. There's gonna be the exchanges. There's going to be the actual Team of the Year sets. Now, what comes with these sets? The best set that everyone goes for every year is the free Team of the Year player. Now, the free Team of the Year player set, the way you get that is by collecting all of your Team of the Week solo tokens, which I've told you all year to get them. So if you haven't gotten to this point, you've been watching me, you've been ignoring me. Team of the Year solo tokens, you go over there, you play them once a week. If you collected all 17, which typically you don't need all 17, typically you need like 15, and EA, or, no, or like 14, EA will give you like two or three extras and solos, typically. Now, you put those on so that you get your one free. Now, the one free typically is auctionable. That's how the years past has been. So you can most likely auction it, which is cool because last year I got Tyree Kill, which was a free million coins, which is pretty awesome. Now, the second thing you do in Team of the Year is you go to solo challenges. Solo challenges in Team of the Year are pretty awesome too. Because typically, they give you a free one now also. But this free one is not auctionable. This one's not, which is still really, really cool. I remember last year, I think I got Tyree Kill and then I got Tyree Kill again. So I ended up selling my Tyree Kill I got and keeping the other one. So... In terms of that, I believe, and they're usually fantasy packs, by the way, guys. So the the Nat one, I believe, I believe it was a fantasy pack. So you can pick out of three that you get. So the only thing with the fantasy packs that sucks is if you get positions you don't want, like a quarterback, because obviously no one really likes to take the quarterback, especially when it's like Drew Brees or something, because we have so many mobile quarterbacks. But usually the fantasy packs, you do have a choice. Now once you're done with all that, how will team of the year drop? Team of the year drops in segments typically. So you'll you'll know all the players pretty much. But you won't get them all the same day. So it'll kind of be like how Mud Heroes dropped. It'll be like on Monday, Drew Bre the court, I'll say Drew Brees, uh, Mark Ingram, and Julio Jones drop Monday. Then on Wednesday, we get the fullback, we get Saquon Barkley, and we get uh, Travis Kelsey. Then on four, uh, on Friday, we get the secondary. Like, like Yeah, it's typically more like that. Like secondary, we get the front, front seven. We, we get it like in segments like that. So don't anticipate it's all be out at once. Although we typically do get all the player reveals before hand so we typically know already who they're going to be we just don't get them in the game right away so it's it's really really cool i really do love team of the year now team of the year introduces pretty much this every position in madden gets an upgrade every position in madden gets one of the new best players at the position as well as some positions get multiple like wide receivers i think get two uh running backs i believe it was one cornerbacks were probably two middle linebackers i believe were one although we did get joe show where it but he was more like a specialist guy, so I don't know if middle linebackers typically give us two, but you guys get the point. Every position gets one. We get a special team type guy, like a, a kick returner, which was a wide receiver, but a kick return specialist, as well as a kicker and a punter. Super cool. How do you get them? You get them from packs, team of the year packs typically. There's usually bundles with uh, team of the year tokens that you can use to get another one if you open the bundles. Now I'm going to take you over to Mudda to show you guys something of some of last year so you guys can have an idea for what this really looks like. All right, so as you guys can see, we got the top two last year, which were 98 overalls, and yes, 
They did introduce 98s last year, but playoff Masters were a little bit less. So I think maybe this year the Masters might only be 97s, but we'd have to see. It was Bobby Wagner and Todd Gurley, who two guys will not be getting 98s again. 98s this year, I don't even know who it ended up being. Maybe McCaffrey, if he got another card. I really can't think as far as that, because last year, these two guys are not on the top anymore. Miles Garrett had a 97, so it was two 98s, two 97s, a bunch of 96s, and then a bunch of 95s. With a few 94s, but those are more like specialists. Like Chandler Jones was a def rush defensive end. Andre Robert was a kick returner. James White was a third on halfback. And Joe Schober was a sub package linebacker. So there was a specialist. Then there's going to be like the right tackle of the year, the left tackle of the year, cornerback of the year, which is Timo Stefan Gilmore. Now remember, these do not mean they were the best at their position. Sometimes it's more in line with Madden itself. Like, let's say. The best quarterback of the year is obviously Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson will not get a Team of the Year card. Why? Because a week or two after Team of the Year, he might be getting either a Super Bowl MVP if he goes all the way, and he's most certainly for sure getting the MVP award. So Madden has to worry about maybe giving him one of those cards, so they will not be giving him a Team of the Year card. So for quarterback, it might be like the second or third best, which might be Drew Brees. It might be, I can't think off the top of my head right now, but it's going to be plenty of other people before him. Running backs. McCaffrey seems like he's in line, but you never know with EA. It's going to be more along the lines of their agenda of what they need in the game, what, what they haven't released in a while, what card needs an upgrade, more, more, more than that. And it's also going to, on top of that, be some of the, it's going to be one of the best players in the position, not the best. Tyreek Hill, another guy that could easily get another upgrade here. I feel like they love saving him for this promo. Easily would fit right into this. And that's pretty much it. As you guys can see how everything works. George Kittle, I don't know if he'd actually be in line. Austin Hooper had a really, really great year. He could definitely be in line. And yeah, that's pretty much a uh, slot cornerback for Desmond King, slot wide receiver for Juju Smith, rush defensive tackle for Chris Jones. And then, so some of them are specialists, some aren't. It really just depends on how they do it again, but it's usually the same format. Let's head back on over to the man screen. You guys saw the format there. You guys saw the card art. The card art's usually, it's usually some type of golden promo. I really love those colors. I wonder if they change it this year though to make it a little bit, a little bit different than they have in years past, which would be pretty cool in my opinion. I always love team of the year. It's one of my favorite times of the year. Now remember, like I said, playoff cards are not endgame cards. They're not. You saw it. They're not endgame cards. You're going to have to replace them if you want to keep them all year. Team of the Year cards are endgame cards. Like the 98s, 97s, 96, if you power them up and you chem them up properly, I just still on my Madden 19 team. Madden 19 team. Still had cards that were Team of the Year cards that I kept to the end of the year. Team of the Year cards are this close to being endgame. Like, you could keep them endgame. If, if you're like a guy who, who's a fish and you ball on a budget, Team of the Year cards are endgame. If you've got millions of coins, Team of the Years will just miss endgame when they start dropping all like the 99 overalls, like Ultimate Legends. That's when you start losing those guys. But a lot of guys who can't afford all that, Team of the Year will probably be endgame for you guys. They'll probably make it the majority of the year. Because kept up and powered up, a lot of them are going to have 99 speed, close to it, 99 stats. Team of the Year is awesome. I really love this promo. When will it drop? So looking at the calendar right now, it's tough to say, right? Because last year it dropped on like the 14th, which would have been Tuesday. Now, I'd imagine we don't really get things on Tuesday. So unless it was a Friday, which would be the 17th, but then the Super Bowl promo is the next week. So that's the thing. That's why it's so squished together because the Super Bowl promo and the Playoff promo sandwiches Team of the Year promo. So you have to make it efficient now, guys. I will be, I will, I'm leaving Spain coming on, I believe, January 11th or 12th. So I will be taking a laptop with me so I can see if I can get some content out to you guys in case Team of the Year does drop that week. I'm hoping it doesn't drop that week so I can get back in time to make tons of videos on it. If it does, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna have to take that loss, but I will definitely make it up to you guys with some sort of content while I'm there. I will be making videos regarding Team of the Year, although I might just not get the 1030 video out on time as per usual. But that's more than okay. I think we'll be able to handle that. It's worth it. It definitely is. But guys, that is pretty much it for the video. L last thoughts on Team of the Year. I will be making a video going over how to prepare for it coin-wise and what to do with your team. That will be coming later this week. I don't want to make it just yet because you guys still have like a whole week or two of like just playoffs and no, and no Team of the Year just yet. So I want to kind of go over some other stuff before we get into completely how to change your team up for Team of the Year. Like I said, Team of the Year. Going to introduce the best players to each position, guys. So you have to remember the market's going to crash a lot. Because you're going to introduce the best players of every position into the game. And as you guys, I've told you guys all year, when the best player at a position comes into the game, the rest of the position comes down subsequently. It's just always going to happen. So definitely stay tuned for that. Be on top of that. But you guys still have some time. We still have about, I'd say 10 days. I'd say minimum 10 days. Maximum like middle end of, closer to the, let's say 10 to 20 days, like the 10th of January 20th. I'd say closer to the 20th is where I'm hoping. But I think it's going to probably be on the earlier side. Super Bowl promo is coming. But guys, it is about it for the video. If you're already to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Can we get to 17,000 within three days? Let's make it happen, boys. We're grinding. Comment down below if you need any help with Team of the Year, if you have any questions. And as well as Nodi Gang, go strong. Comment down below, Nodi Gang. Comment down below if you made it to the end of the video, as well as like the video. Can we get 250 to 500 likes in this video? Let's make it happen. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.